If you happen to be in the situation where you're filming a bunch of dudes running down a hill, but one of them has a torn meniscus, so he decided to take a seat and he's in the shot still, <laughs> you might think that it could be really useful to be able to know how to remove a person from a shot. And you'd be right, it is really useful. So here's how to do that in Blender. It's a good idea to start by tracking your camera motion so that you can get a digital camera that is moving the same way as your real life camera. And then what I did was create a basic 3D object that matches the background behind the Caleb that I was trying to paint out. Then I took an image of the background without the Caleb there. I think this was actually a completely different day, so a lot of the reflections and stuff were different. But then what I did was I just projected that image right onto the basic 3D geometry. So now you've got what's known as a clean plate. And the next thing we have to do is deal with other things that are making our lives difficult, like this hooligan's legs that go across our clean plate and mess everything up. So let's go back to our movie clip editor window and go into the mask editor and create something kind of like this that just frames up the person that we're trying to get rid of. A good way to make sure your masks are moving correctly is to select them all with A and then shift select one of your tracking markers and hit control P to parent it to the camera motion. Now we need to add a new mask of the legs as they go over top of that other mask that we just created. Now in the compositor, we've got our footage and we've got our 3D object that's got the nice texture on it that covers everything up. If we feed these both into an alpha over node, we get something like this. And if we feed in our first mask, we get something like this, a little bit less chunky but it can be improved upon. Let's take the mask of our legs, throw that through a blur node, and then subtract that from our original mask. Then if you take the result of that subtraction operation and throw it into the alpha over node, we get something like this. Now it doesn't look perfect if you look at the before and after, but it's not really something anybody's gonna be paying attention to, so I'd say it's good enough. Hey, guys, come here. Go get him! <laughs> anyway, that's that. If you want to see more tutorials on kind of useful and practical visual effects that are invisible most of the time, let me know. Other than that, if you want to pick up some free smoke elements that are looping and seamless, like these, there's a link in the description where you can get those. I've been finding these super useful for a lot of atmospheric stuff, adding life to my visual effects shots. So yeah, if you want to pick those up, like I said, there's a link in the description. I hope you have an excellent day, and cheers!